so let us learn little bit more basics about this GA programming from TK inter import all and then let us create a object to the class TK and then let us give the title which is let us say hello this we have seen in the previous video so now if you press F5 okay see here the window is getting popped now let us say we want to change this default size there is a method so let me close this minimize and for that we have a method called geometry my gui dot geometry and underscore inside this we will be giving the parameter parameter is like 500 let us say and x 500 now let us run it see here 500 and 500 first 500 is for x-axis x-axis is horizontal and y-axis is vertical so this is x and this is y so now let us say one more thing so suppose when we execute this so we are getting this window here suppose we want this window on defaultly should appear here so for that we should have to pass the parameters plus let us say 100 plus 100 now execute it okay see here so x is this one horizontal 100 and y is 100 to understand this better let us first give 0 0 let us give here plus 0 and let us give plus 0 let us press f5 ok see here this here is 0 0 and now if you want to move appear this one defaultly here we should have to change the only x value keeping the y 0 so let us do that let us say x is equal to 100 execute it see this is defaultly appearing here now if you change the y also let us say 200 it will come around here execute the program see like this wherever you want you can get this one and one more method i want to explain before proceeding further there is a one more method called my gi dot main loop you should always have to call this one now execute it so this will make this window to be in the main loop so whenever you create a file or executing through the file this main loop will be useful so suppose remove this main loop and now save it control s go to your file my file is gui open it so as soon as it appear it is closing so we have discussed this in the previous lectures like whenever creating a file we should have to wait for the user input and here in the GUI you can write keep it in the main loop so until any event occurs it will be in the main loop forever so now if you let us save it now open the file see here until any event occur this window will be appearing so this is the use of the main loop hope you understood these two methods play around with these parameters like 500 500 this is the size and plus plus means this is the position to the geometry method play around with these methods until you go into the further sessions hope you understood keep practicing meet in the next video